Hey man, it's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest in 2K in existence. And listen up, man, I'm finna show you the best jump shots in 2K23, how to shoot, the best tips, the best badges, everything that you need to learn how to shoot. This is very important, man. No one can shoot in any 2K. You guys are whores, okay? I play with randoms all the time, and for some reason, y'all couldn't even shoot last year, which was like the easiest shoot in 2K ever. Y'all randoms don't take time. Y'all think y'all know everything, y'all. Y'all be like, oh, let me be myself, blah, blah, but you can't shoot, my boy. Okay, get it together, bro. But look, all the jump shots and tips I'm gonna show you works for current gen and next gen, bro. Get this video to a thousand likes and I'll do a $50 giveaway on my kick, man. Link in description. Anywho, this jump shot right here probably has the least contest out of any jump shot in 2K23 fade away, okay? Test this hoe out. You know, you 6'5 through 6'10, okay? You'll get it done. It's not super fast, but you fade, like you fade away so people People can't contest you like that, okay? Trust me. Immaculate jump shot, top tier, man. Spot ups and guard builds, man. Might be crazier on the guard piece to be, or uh, on the spot up piece to be honest, you know? And also, if you don't see certain bases or release, it's because your ratings or your heights don't meet the requirement. Now, before we get into the rest of the jump shots, bro, I want to show you this. Just do it, okay? I don't care what you say. Oh my God. <laughs> Shut up. Put your shot release timing on very You are not a comp player, bro. <laughs> Even if you are a comp player, you still need to put it on very late. But y'all are just, you, you finick. Most of y'all can't shoot. I'm the best shooter in 2K history, bro. I do not miss. I am a god. On next gen and current gen, these jump shots work for next gen and current gen, by the way. Put, bro, this matters. I don't care what channel, who else is talking about this doesn't matter. It matters. Whatever your release timing is, I'm going to tell you why it matters. Whatever your release timing is, just change it to something you never use and go shoot with it and watch what happens. You won't hit a shot. You won't hit a shot. This man. Now the second jump shot I'm going to show you. You see how you fade in the way when you shoot? Just like the butler. It's not as dramatic. But again, it's hard to contest something like Especially when someone's spraying straight at you, my boy. You you fall back. You know, you shoot that hole back, okay? This is Emax. It's not as fast as everything. So that means it's even easier to hit with, okay? You even got the time and impact. Everything, you know, you can use this as a guard build or or as a spotter and you will find high success using this jump shot it's very easy to hit with man especially if you lower the release speed etc the worse you are the more you gotta turn your stuff down because it's easier to hit what you guys have to understand all that quick shooting trying to get it off on a dime it doesn't matter people leave you open bro people leave you open man especially for majority of y'all so that means you have to find a consistent jump shot the speed does not matter like that you have to find a consistent jump shot bro the defense and the gameplay is so horrible people leave you open so all you gotta do is find something you can hit with a lot of people aren't stressing that i'm telling you man i am the i'm the guru of this hoe this right here i believe is the best jump shot in the game man current gen next gen this is my current jump shot that i use all the time you know for my guard build this jump shot's pretty fast, by the way. It ain't, it ain't that slow. You know, it's up there. You know, got, gotta show you the classics. Gotta show you the classics that everybody's rocking. Here's another fast jump shot that's immaculate, man. Of course, y'all already know about the good old consistent, man. There goes another jump shot. You know, you go backwards a little bit, so that means it's harder to contest. It's fast. It's faster than LaMelo and uh, Brissette. So it's like, you know, this is rock this spot ups or garb. But out of those three, you know, the three, the three most popular jump shots, I think O'Shea is the, uh, I'm not, I'm not, but the ones I showed you before is, is, is him too. I, I just had to show you the three classics, man. And also y'all let me know down below y'all's favorite jump shots, y'all's favorite releases, blendings, guard builds, big builds, you know, help each other out, man. Hey, here's another jump shot. You kind of lean forward, so you probably kind of get contested. This is for the little builds. If y'all want more little build jump shots, it's definitely, I put a bunch in my last video, my last jump shot video. So, um, I'm gonna just put one in this video, but this one's very easy to hit with for little builds, man. It's not that fast. It's very hard to get it to A plus release, you know. And yeah, man, to test it out, let me know. Here are some big man jump shots, bro. Um, I'm just show you the screenshot. 
this one right here, you know, 610 plus, if you have somewhat a high three, you'll be Gucci with this KD for sure. You know, the, the, this jump shots uh, I'm, I'm hearing is very good too. The David Robinson base. I'm hearing this base good too. And this Eric base is good too. Y'all let me know y'all's favorite big man base. Let me know your favorite jump shots down below. Help people out, etc. Hey, if y'all feel like laughing, man, go watch my Pro-Am video that uh, I dropped before this. If you don't laugh, I owe you a dollar. Struggling and you can do without it, don't do it. But you notice a jump shot, like, <laughs> you just notice more shots falling when you when you buy this. You know, 2K is pay to win, bro. That That's just how it is. I'm not telling y'all to do it. And also, if you get the Gatorades, bro, you know, they will help you because Gatorade is very important. The more stamina you have, the less your jump shot change, all this and all that, the easier it is to time it, have a more consistent jump shot instead of it going to straight RNG and you uh, guessing what jump shot is about to happen and what animation you're going to get and trying to guess this other person's animation to you. It's ridiculous, right? But hey man, also get gym rat, okay? Um, if you can't get gym rat, do your drills and make sure you get three star on everything so you get a bar to your um your stamina that will help you greatly and then if you like buy two or one it'll it'll help you it'll help you get the double bar but again pay to win if you could do it out it you could do it out it man I, i'm just letting you know how it worked my boy now look if you feel you can't hit bro you can turn all of this off right that you know there there's a lag delay and um Hold on, how do I put this hole on none? You know, instead of one of these things, because they say it adds more lag delay to your to your guy. You know, it's a theory, it's not tested. But if you're struggling to shoot, you could test this out, bro. You can um like just do none. You know, you can test this out. It's up to you. I don't do it, but you could do none. You can uh you know, I use this jump shot meter. By the way, do not use jump shot meter. Only play with no meter, bro. Don't use meter, okay? Ball trail, you could put this to none. If you feel like there's just too much lag delay, test it out. See if it works for you. And also, another thing. Here's another thing people do. The shot feedback. They turn it off. I don't do this. But it just more lag delay like taking off the game you know that's why people do stuff like this they do something like this they turn it on none you know but then you can't see people's names but it's up to you bro make sure your motion blur is off okay turn it off get your sound effects right man if it's too loud too low get it right i use very late my shot type and I have it on shots only. Um, I don't really mess with the layup thing. I make sure I have my vibration on. I like that, but it's up to y'all. Make sure you turn off your trigger effect. Too many of y'all have your trigger effect on, you old heads. I hear it through your mic, okay? I hear your, your, your controller rumbling while you're not even touching anybody. Like, bro, it's a, it's a vibrator. It's a vibrator? Vibrator, huh? Huh, nigga, you a grown man. You got your controller vibrating in your hand. Turn this off, bro. You got to turn it off in your PlayStation settings, too. So many people don't know this. You got your trigger effect on. It's going to mess up your shooting, bro. Spread the message. You know, these are my other settings overall. Um, I keep this on, and I keep my who to guard on. By the way, I see people keep taking off who to guard. Stop. It does not do anything, okay? You take it off, it's not gonna pull you less. Keep it on just so you're aware because everyone else smoke like smoke. And yeah, man, here go the best badges. Hey, look, here are the best shooting badges in general, bro. Okay, I don't have my shooting max on this build, but I'ma just show y'all something. Agent 3's is the best badge for main ball handlers, okay? The best badge, okay, bar none. It's not just fading. It's not just pull-ups, bro. 
It's stopping uh, pop. It's everything. Every shot you take while like moving rhythm shooter, it's all combined into this badge. So if you are a main ball handler, put this shit on max, bar none, bro. Okay. Um, even catch and shoot when you're a main ball handler, you want this, bro, because you can shoot it instantly. And like even with the fade shot, your catch and shoot's gonna pop up and the agent threes, and then you could catch them holes even more. Everyone is leaving everyone open, bro. Okay, like all levels, bro. Like, especially when they think you're like drained of adrenaline and all that. Catch and shoot, it, it changes your game completely, bro. Especially if you are bad, bro. Uh amped, you know. Eh, you know, they, they say it reduces the penalty. It, it's it's cool, bro. Um, and then Claymore, when you spot, when you when you're spotting up, you catch the ball and you wait and then you shoot. This is more for spot ups, but still, this is still a good thing for a main ball handler. You see, I got it low. And then the volume shooter, I'm going to eventually max out because, you know, it helps with every shot. But limitless range, you don't even need, bro, because of the limitless takeover. I'm going to show you, bro. Look, I can keep shooting from half court with this badge, with the uh, with the damn near 7-7. Seven, seven, what, what was my three-point? Like a 76-3, bro. I can shoot from half court just with this badge on single like the single takeover. And you can shoot from everywhere. So you can save badge points without um, even having limitless on. You know, it's still a good badge, it works, it's, it's a great badge. But if you have like accelerator and just limitless, you can just hit from limitless. So you can save badge points and be smart. I got a bunch of clips, bro, of uh, me hitting from limitless. The dead eye, uh, you know, it, it ain't it ain't that it ain't it ain't what it used to be. Blinder, same thing. Corner, they say don't work. Some people say it do work. Green machine, they say it activate after the third shot until I hear otherwise. So it's not really as needed. Guard up. Some people say don't even work. Um, space creator, all dependent to your style and mini. But yeah, your main badges that you want as a main ball handler: agent threes, amped, catch and shoot. And then you start to, you know, the volume shooter, then the claymore, and then everything else is all dependent on you. Now for a spot up, bro, you want catch and shoot max, claymore max. I don't, I, I'm not, I'm not too, I don't, I don't, I don't know about guard up, bro. For a spot up, you could do something like this, bro. Really for a spot up, it's really like the same badges, bro. It, it really is, because they say uh, corner specialists don't work. It's really like the same badges, man, to be honest. Now, maybe, uh, I don't know about this Deadeye and Blinders, bro. I don't know, bro. I, I haven't been made a believer. A lot of people make a lot of tweets and stuff, but I, I, I just haven't seen it. You can shoot crabs. People think it's Blinders. You can shoot crabs without Blinders and it be OP. Like, I don't think people are noticing a big difference from making it gold to, uh, you know? I don't know, bro. Basically... Between spot ups and um, main ball handlers, is you're just going to want to have clay more and catch and shoot more. That's basically it, bro. To to keep it a hundred. And of course, these are going to be your main shit. You know, the catch and shoot and the clay more. But you want to be able to fade, and sometimes the game makes you fade, so you want to have this badge on still. This will be your third badge as a spot up that you will need. And um, y'all yeah. be sure to follow me on Twitch, man. Link is in the description. Make sure y'all go to the gym eight days a week. Drink a gallon of water a day. And click on one of these two videos. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.